Greetings. Greetings from George Washington University's campus. I'm here today for a simulation exercise run by a group of international relations and political science students, which I'm really looking forward to. And today I'm also resuming my vlog series. Uh, I'd like to do that by just touching on quickly some scenarios I was working on over the past two weeks for the impact of higher education uh, and AI. So to begin with, one of these scenarios, I call it the Cyborg Academy, involves all jobs on campus, all functions, including all student learning, being infused with AI, that we use AI for everything we do, from teaching and learning, service, research, practice of all kinds. So the university still has the same structure, the same functions in many ways, but there's just AI radiating throughout it. The second one is what I think of as a kind of industrial model, and this is where we've changed up quite a few jobs. Uh, where we may still have faculty, but they do a lot of work with AI, and there may be fewer of them. And so that we have more staff, uh, librarians, educational technologists, who take up some of the roles of teaching students how to use AI. In fact, quite a few jobs have changed. Uh, instructional, uh, or excuse me, um, guidance counselors, for example, uh, one of their roles might be teaching students how to build simulations of their academic career, and also their post-academic careers. A third option is what my friend Don Shawless calls the robo-college idea. And this is where we follow, in some ways, another classic industrial age model where we lay off a lot of faculty and staff and replace them with capital, i.e. with AI. Uh, we see that being done for quantitatively intensive classes, perhaps, uh, perhaps classes where objective uh, facts are more to the fore, um, or perhaps more discussion-oriented classes. Uh, but the key thing is, we have fewer and fewer human instructors, along with human instructional staff. Uh, now, the exception there is the elite. Uh, the richest schools, the richest people get to uh, maintain in-person learning. And the fourth version of this is one where colleges and academic programs are divided. Uh, some uh, are pro-AI, some are anti-AI, and they compete on this. Join our program so that you may learn how to use the cutting-edge technology and to benefit from it, and others are please come here, everything is human, and perhaps humane. Uh, so a question I put to an audience at ASU GSV was, which of these do you think is most likely to occur? And they overwhelmingly supported on the transport jobs. What do you think? Talk to you again.